Oh, what is that? Oh my god, Shadow Suro! No! The most powerful of villains. What's going on everybody? Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new update in Disney Dreamlight Valley. We finally have a scar and I have not started the quest line because I want to wait for you guys. Now I know there's some of you that may be at work or you just can't get the game working because it is kind of buggy right now and a lot of the servers are down and like if you're on console, Xbox, stuff like that, you might not have access to this just yet. So I wanted to make the intro or play the first couple missions and let you guys see that. That way you don't feel left out. Now if you guys do enjoy this video, Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of guides coming out that's going to help you with this little update. So I would really appreciate it. All right. So the first step, it says, as soon as I logged in, I got this quest, Nature and Nurture. So it says, investigate the giant skull in the elephant graveyard of the Sunlit Plateau. Well, I'm pretty sure this is what it is. So uh, before there were some rocks at the entrance, but now we can actually go in here. Um, I have not been in here at all. I'm sure it's just going to be Scar. Yep. Lounging around. Bro, he looks so good. Let's take out his scar. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Oh, actually, there's a new photo mode, isn't there? Let's check that out for a second. Oh, no way. We can actually do poses now. Oh, he's he's posing with us. That's kind of out of character for scar, but I love it. What is this? Oh. Oh. All right. We can do some different faces you can't really tell because my character has a beard oh gosh <laughs> oh all right some filters and some borders that's awesome that is that's very cool okay so let's talk to scar let's see what his voice is well if it isn't Suro, it's been far too long since you've came around to visit i was beginning to think you'd leave me trapped in here forever Ah, so you do remember me. Before the Forgotten, you were the most loyal assistant. He's so sinister already. When I ruled over the entire valley. Absolutely, why I may have let you watch over the rest of the village. But when it comes to the Sunlit Plateau, everyone knows that I'm the rightful king. Of course, there's a little worth rolling over here since the river dried up. What happened to the river? I can only presume that something blocking it and the land has grown so parched that there's no prey. Without water, there's no life. The power within the pillar of nurturing has died out. And now, that's all sorts of pesky dark powers in the air. If someone doesn't fix this soon, the whole plateau will become an arid wasteland. And the most tragic part is, it's all your fault? No. <laughs> Dang. He is kind of mean. Look at him. He's just staring me down. He looks like he wants to eat me. Yes, that's all began when you abandoned the village. <laughs> Though perhaps with my guidance, you could set it all right. Um, why should I help you? He just he just told us why. Because it's your place in the food chain. The valley was a far better place when I rolled it with you at my side. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't believe that. I think he's he's trying to swindle me. Trust me, Suro, and I promise all will be as it should. Of course, if you're still not convinced, then don't do it for me. Do it for the village. Restoring the Sunlit Plateau may make life so much better for everyone. Isn't that what a good ruler ought to do, Suro? Uh. Why did the pillar dry out? Because it's connected to the river that runs to the plateau. Without water, the pillar has utter... Oh, oh so we're going to get some water going in the river. All right. And it seems to be connected to all the life on the plateau. When one flourishes, so does the others. But when one is broken, uh, so they're connected to each other. Feeding each other. Man, there's a lot of dialogue here. Jeez, circle of life. Ah, uh, yes, but don't ever say that phrase in my presence again. <laughs> all the annoyance started when something blocked the river. I have no idea what that could be, but I do know that it began at the same time as the forgetting. And not long after, those blasted rocks fell on my lair. I've been trapped in here ever since. I really like how they uh, connected why he wasn't in the game yet. So they pretty much just said like a bunch of rocks fell down and trapped him in here, which there was rocks. And uh, they magically disappeared. Now, wasn't that also when you abandoned the village? <laughs> oh, Suro, everyone knows it. But if you fix all this, it might make up for the trouble you've caused. All right, the water flows from the depths of the Vitalis mines. Oh, please let me go inside a mine. And hopefully there's iron in there. Please be a bunch of iron nodes. 
there are mines beneath cliffs. What did they mine in there? I haven't the faintest idea as a value. Search the mines until you find what's blocking the flow of the river. And then, and don't forget this part, fix it. Only then will you restore life to the kingdom and earn your way back into my good graces. Woo, that was a lot. That was a lot. Oh my gosh. What do, what do we got in here? He's got some treasure. Open that up. What's it going to give me? Probably the same item for everyone, I would assume. Oh, I need to clean out my inventory. Okay, that was garbage. Never mind. I'm max level and there's no more bars, so it doesn't look like there's going to be any more levels that we can obtain for this update. So that makes me pretty sad. We got a little memory here. Um, we will read those later. Look at this. Anything else? Oh, Scar, you look so cool. I kind of want to ride him around. That might be a little disrespectful. I don't think he would let me do that. I help you in any way I can. Trust me. <laughs> it's kind of hard to trust you when you uh, killed your brother. All right, enter the mines at the mouth of the river in the sunlit plateau. Oh, it's right here. Please have iron nodes. Please be filled with them. Oh, we have a new rock here. Okay, got some vines growing, got some mushrooms. I was not expecting this update to be this big. I really wasn't. I thought we were just gonna get a new character and some extra stuff, but this is really cool. And let's see what this new uh, rock is right here. We got some iron and um, Vitalis. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Crystal, this crystal from the mines is infused with life. Throw it together with a few other magical ingredients and you may be able to improve your Roy. Oh, heck yes. Improving our tools, all right. We can't break any of this stuff. That's to be expected. We got some more ores here. Go and grab this. Got some gold and another one of those ores. Can't go down there yet. Okay, more rocks here. Sheesh, this is a big mine. Oh, we got a chest. Grab some of these. a new gem? I don't think so. Uh, orange, there's a there's a boot on my shirt. Shirt that is awesome. <laughs> we got to put that on, and then we got a shiny ruby. I can't remember if that was in the game before or not. All right, here's the new look, everybody. We went all cowboy themed. All right, there's a note here. It says, "If the water is blocked, please read." These night thorns are getting worse and worse, but don't worry, I know how to stop them. I spilled some of my root beer on them and they shriveled up a little. If we could make a whole lot more root beer <laughs> and use some of the candies to get it all fizzy, why I bet we could get rid of all the night thorn roots. I left all the ingredients in the chest at camp. I just hope I can put it all together in this barrel before the forgetting it gets to me too. So we got to make some root beer. All right. And then we have to go back to camp, which we could have just went there in the first place. <laughs> Instead of going through this giant mine. Some more chests, some more loot. All right, I got a book out of that. Oh, it's the root beer recipe. Okay, so make sure you grab that chest. It takes some ginger, some sugar cane, and vanilla, I think. Oh, it's this camp, not the one by Scar's home. Okay, do I have all the ingredients for that? Root beer, where are you? Right here. Yes, I have it all. Let's go. So uh, yeah, that's how you make root beer. Pretty easy, three star item. I'm gonna make another one just in case. And I, I of course gotta sample it. I can't forget about that. I gotta try a sip of this magical root beer that's gonna unclog this river. Tell Merlin about what I found. So we have to go all the way back. Please be a path over here. Can I go down here? Oh, what? Are they going to add some new mechanic to the game? Or that's probably going to raise up and then I can walk across. And it'll probably raise up when I get the river going again. Okay. So I guess for now I have to run all the way back. All right, let's take a look at our loot. We got four of the shiny rubies and eight of the Vitalis, Vitalis crystal and two sapphire. A little bit of gold, not much. 
Oh, what is this? Crackling candy. This candy fizzes when you place it on your tongue. You bet if you mix it with something else, it would fizz a lot more. All right, boss, I got some info for you. Hello. Sir, I suspect you're dealing with another matter that might decide the fate of the whole village, but I suppose that's just all in a day's work for you. I found a certain surly lion in the giant skull in the elephant graveyard. A lion? You couldn't possibly mean Scar. That's right, he asked me for help to restore the sunlit plateau. Be very wary, my friend. Scar is just as treacherous as Ursula. He's not working with you out of kindness. There's always something in it for him. Um, I'll watch my back. Good. The number of villains in the village is growing. We must take heed. Of all the villains in the valley, I have a special aversion to Scar. He refuses to learn my name and insists on referring to me as the windbag with the pointy blue head feather and the unkempt white mane. Oh, there he is. Man, he's talking, he's talking shit on you, bro. <laughs> so rude. Now, what did Scar tell you? What is going on back here? He told me that if I wanted to restore life to the pillar of nurturing, I needed to fix whatever is blocking the river. The Vitali's mine. Good gracious, I'd forgotten all about those. I went inside and explored them. They are scary. That they are. Hmm, I wish I could remember what was mined in there. The river being blocked by the roots of some giant night thorns that grew down the cliffs above. My magic doesn't seem to work on them. I see, I see. Well, perhaps some of the mundane substance could kill the night thorns at the roots. I found a note so- Yeah, we already know this. We need to put root beer down there. Sugary carbonated beverages. Uh-huh. Okay. Use the recipe to whip up some especially fizzy root beer and combine it with the cack crackling candy. All right, we already knew all that. Let's get to work. Prepare the extra fizzy root beer at the cooking station. All right, I figured it out. I had to use the actual like ginger item that was in the my inventory that the game gave me and I had to manually put it in. So don't hit autofill and that's how I made the extra fizzy root beer instead of the standard one. So now we can go back to the mines and put that in the barrel. All right, we made it back. So let's just walk up to the barrel. We're gonna put the candy there and transfer the root beer. There we go. All right, let's watch this cutscene. Oh, jeez, it's so unrealistic. <laughs> it's kind of funny though. Yes, we've made water. Oh, I was right. It's gonna raise up the raft that was conveniently placed there. And now we have a bridge to that chest. Return to the sunlit plateau to see if the river has been restored. I think it's safe to say that the river has definitely been restored. But I am sad that they didn't make a small path just so I can walk out the door. I still have to go away like the, the long way around. That's crazy that they didn't do that. Got some money there and we can harvest this. All they had to do was remove those rocks when they designed the game and I could have walked out the door. <laughs> Oh, jeez. All right. I'm going to spend another five minutes running all the way back. Oh, what is it? Oh, my God. Shadow Suro. No. The most powerful of villains. <laughs> Man, he looks so badass. Look at me now. I don't even know what I'm wearing at this point. I'm just putting on random stuff. Follow the forgotten through the dark portal. Oh, man. Looking spooky in here. Are we getting into some, like, halloween theme stuff? Dude, this, this update is so amazing. We're like in a shadow realm. The forgotten that dropped something. Oh geez, there's rocks in your way. Make sure you got some stamina or some food on you. It's gonna shimmy on over here. Excuse me. All right, what do we got? Return to Dreamlight Valley. All right. Show Merlin. Everything is go to Merlin. He knows what to do. Why doesn't Merlin just do this? If he has all this knowledge, why does And he's got magic. Where's Merlin? Oh, man. He's, he's, he's heading down south. We gotta catch up to him. I wish we could sprint at the cost of, like, more stamina. Oh, he's sitting in my chair that I put here. Don't, don't ask why there's a zoo. I totally didn't trap all of my villagers in here and then they uh, escaped. Merlin, get back here, bro. You know I need to talk to you. I only come to you when I need something. Lifeless orb of nurturing. Do you want to give these items? Yes. Ah, I see you solved the problem with the river and the sunlit plateau. But by the look on your face, I know there's something else bothering you. Come on with it. Da -da 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 -da. 
small talk, more small talk, like you, small talk. Well, it's possible that the Forgotten is a splinter of yourself that stayed behind when you left the village long ago. As we grow up, there are always parts of ourselves that we leave behind, pieces of us that no longer, I suppose you could say, fit. <laughs> But just because we're finished with a part of ourselves, it doesn't mean that that part of ourselves is finished with us. That was very inspirational. In your case, this may be all <laughs> manifesting itself a bit more literally. No, no, sir. I assure you, none of this is your fault. Cause and effect is tricky. The simplest action can lead to unexpected reactions. And here in the valley, things are especially complicated. All that matters is what you hold in your heart, what well, all you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, how do we fix it? Key to restoring valley lies with you, Suro. Well, speaking of restoring Dreamlight Valley, the Forgotten dropped this. Okay, Orb of Nurturing. With this, we can restore the pillar in the Sunlit Plateau. Not so fast, something's wrong. Well, the orb feeds off of natural life. First, you place it in the pillar of the Sunlit Plateau. It took quite a long time to thrive, but once it did, it turned a dry desert into a lush oasis. You must plant it in the ground before the pillar and let nature take its course. It sounds like that's going to take a while. Well, yes, but there's no reason we can't help nature out a bit with magical nurturing. Oh, well, it wasn't rare gems or precious metals. There are crystals that grow there. When combined with a few magical ingredients, they bring life to the floor around the... Okay, so we already have those crystals. Dig up some crystals. We got it. Use them to create magical elixir. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh, there's so much dialogue. All right, that was the last crystal I needed. And to get the rich soil, all you have to do is garden up stuff. So I actually made Scar my gardening buddy. And then I just went to like my pumpkin patch and picked a bunch of pumpkins. And then I got 10 rich soil from that. And he does actually help you out with the rich soil for this quest line. So if you're stuck on that, uh, you can do that too. And then I just harvest up the rest of the little crystals from there. So now we can craft the Miracle Growth Elixir. So let's head on down here to my crafting bench and whip it up really fast. Also, I don't know if they changed how fast you level up characters, but I've gotten Scar to level 5 really fast, like less than 5 minutes. It didn't take me long at all. I, I don't know if it's just for him or they changed it for everyone, but I thought that was pretty neat. So here's the uh, Growth Elixir. Um, 10 Rich Soil, 10 Vitalis Crystal, and then a 1,000 Dream Light. So you can just do those quests like the little... Um, uh, Let's see, where is it? Over here at Dream Light. You could just do these Dream Light duties. If you don't have a thousand dream light, it's pretty easy to get. Okay, so use the miracle growth elixir in your backpack to upgrade your watering can. Oh, hold up. Hold up now. My watering can. Um, use it. Did it upgrade my watering can or did I need to hold it in my hand? Okay, where's Merlin? Down here. I really don't see a Merlin down in the Glade of Trust very often. He's doing some light fishing, I see. Oh, Alright, you done it. Your watering can is brimming with magical vitality. And now the last part is quite simple. Plant the Orb of Nurturing in the ground before the Pillar of Sunlit Plateau. A bit of patience. Um, Okay, nurture the orb. We got that. Alright, it says plant the Orb of Nurturing at the Pillar. So I guess I can just plant it anywhere. Yeah, I guess just throw it in here. It probably doesn't even have to be around this thing, but I'm going to just in case. Get my watering can. Ta-da! This might take a few days. So it looks like we're actually done with the quest. All that we can actually do for now. We're going to have to wait. I wouldn't recommend changing the time on your game still because it may break the game. But uh, yeah, I guess I guess that's all we can do for now. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see a second part of this quest line, let me know and I'll make a part two video for this. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch it. If you made it this far in the video, then you are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much. I will see you all in the next one.